Hey everybody, I'm Mike. Welcome to my shop. Today I'm going to show you how to make a driftwood wall clock. Now, this driftwood wall clock will also double as a uh, nightlight. All you need is a beautiful driftwood like this one, clock mechanism, a spotlight, and a piece of wood that will serve as a stand. Now we're going to put it like so. I put the clock on, on the center of it and the lights behind it. Now stick around, I'm going to show you how to make it step by step. is inside first we're going to place the outer hand now we're going to put it on a 12 o'clock position so that we can acquire the time so this is 12 o'clock Let's mark it up and let's go for one o'clock. That's one. goes through it will be visible clearly but we have to make the hole bigger I'm using the 8 mm drill bit
So now this is done. <coughs> See the holes, I got it bigger so that the light could go through easily. And next would be the stand. You have to clean this up. Maybe you'll take the edges, make it a little bit rounder on the edge. And we're gonna put it like so. mounted before we install the clock mechanism and the spotlight we have to paint this with varnish oh, to preserve the wood and make it a little bit shiny so let's start
put on the hands. First, the our hand. <laughs> Minute. Now the second half. This time is nine thirty six. I like I like your uh, your studio lights. It's, uh, your um, this is you're, uh, you're leveling up your game. I haven't done this yet. They don't call me Mike Gaber for nothing. <laughs> you get it now? Very true. <laughs> see, I, 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 I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Yeah, it, uh, you look you look good in it. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna take a photo. This is, okay. This is this is. Yeah, make a video. Yeah, this is uh, this is. Yeah. Great. Well. <laughs> This is how the chip blogger do. <laughs> what a chip blogger do. <laughs> it's quite clever. Hello, everybody. This is my nephew Nino. And, well, he wants to go out and run around. Okay, you can go. <laughs> so, while working on my shop, I was really hungry. And I thought I would go come to the mom, to Mama's kitchen and cook some corned beef. Now we're not going to cook an ordinary corned beef. We're going to cook a special corned beef with some vegetables and tomatoes. And the most special of it is we're going to have uh, fried fish, bulat. Uh, also, kolas is a favorite. So this is the stuff that you would need: corned beef, holiday corned beef, fifty-three pesos only. That's good. Two red big tomatoes. One big onion. And some cloves of garlic. Repolio in Bisaya. Or Tagalog. And some side dish of bulad. Gonna fry that. start uh, start with a pan and heat some oil in it and we're going to saute the spices and we're gonna put it all of it together the onions the tomatoes the garlic
Now you see, the tomato is already cooked. It's all smashed. And the juice is coming out. But still, there's oil. Now we're going to put the corned beef. And because there is more than five people who will eat this, so we're gonna add a little bit more corned beef, a smaller can. So mix it well, and then let it sit, let it boil for maybe about a couple of minutes. So now this is almost dried up, so that means that the juice from the, from the meat has already been sucked in. So now it's time for the small spices. I'm gonna put a tablespoon of black pepper. Some peppercorn. And salt to taste. Simple as that. And mix it well. And then we're gonna add up some water. Hot water. Hot water will be better. After that, It looks a little bit of slurry. It's time to put in the folio in Bisaya or Tagalog. So mix it well. So it's all mixed up. Now let's cover it and we'll wait for a few minutes. All good and ready. 